Thank you. Let's start um, this Q and A. I'm, I'm curious, what drew you to this story? Such a fascinating story. But what what was it about this story that you decided to? Well, I was, uh, I mean, really, you should um, ask Tom that, and maybe he could, he could answer, but I, because I was given the script by Tom, and I was just really bowled over by it. I mean, I suppose one of the main things, I didn't know when I read it that it was a true story, but one of the things I thought was so extraordinary about it was that so many spy genre kind of movies are quite cold, you know, they're really about, they're quite detached, and they're very much about the kind of plotting and the intrigue, but what was so great about this was that he wrote with such heart, about these extraordinary people, and he wrote about the cost of that kind of heroism, the personal cost, the cost in terms of how people have to pay for what they do, even right across the board, all the characters have to pay for the, the risk of being, for being heroic in a way. I thought that was so unusual, so I was immediately really drawn to that. But Tom, what do you, because you, you went to the subject first, right? That's, that's, I think, what drew, I think what drew all of us to it is exactly that, that there was this, ordinary guy pulled in this insane situation it makes you think well how would i behave in that how would i do all that and sort of it is much more uh, relatable than your usual spy story because the central character is not a spy uh, and i think that's what kind of compelled all of us to try to put the story together and um i think that's what, what made it such a powerful piece of source material right and you did you brought so much of that humanity to your characters and maybe each of you can sort of comment how you responded to that? Um, for me, it's, it's always about human beings, whatever I'm portraying, playing, film. Um, um, it's very important to have full information, um, especially about the people who really, really existed and really happened, these things to them. Um, but then it's also important to forget about that, to forget all the information went through your head about that person. So you kind of feel free and you feel conditioned as Binkowski. You don't have to perform this anymore. You just feel everything about you. I don't know how this really happens. You need a good director, good script, good partners, and enthusiasm, and then it works. And the human element of this is kind of said was a huge focus and, and Doc reminded us from the very beginning that even though the, the circumstances are extraordinary and the stakes are really high, that these are people underneath all of it who are risking everything and for, for Emily I think she's grappling with the idea of what patriotism means to her and what she's willing to give up for a greater good. Or, or what the greater good is, you know, that's always a question that a lot of the characters in the script are grappling with. But it was something that was a f focus um, that we talked about a lot, the, the human element underneath these people. And I think, like, an example of, I think, what Tom's done with the material, which you played so brilliantly, you know, you very rarely get, when an agent fails in a movie, <laughs> you very rarely see how that feels, right? And in this, you've got two amazing scenes. The first one, when you realize what you've done, right? You took this risk in going back to Moscow, and it was a disaster. And then that very econ economical scene, which is so well written and performed, where the two of you just drink a scotch, and you come in and you're devastated. And then the final scene, and I think, you know, we never think about the cost of those acts. We never think about what it's actually like to mess something up to cause the death of someone. And if you're involved in, in the secret services at any time, you have people's lives in large numbers in your hands. And I love the way that the film kind of gets into that area. It's unusual, I think. 